Well, we have the, uh, the AMG Giro with the uh, Teatro cartridge. And uh, it's a great combination. It's a really good value. Yep. It's, which is 12.2 for the entire uh, package. Mm -hmm. It's feeding a new reference Phono 3 on the bottom, which is turned off right now. And um, that was introduced uh, starting February this year. And then that's feeding a the new Ref 6. Right. And that came out in December. And for a CD player, we still have our reference CD9. And we're using. Uh, and a render to stream into it, and also we're playing uh, uh, files off a of MacBook and right. CDs. And in turn, the uh, the F6 is feeding a GS150 uh, power amp, and the GS150 is uh, it's actually been out for a couple of years, but it's a, it's a full reference level quality amplifier, yeah, just in a, in a beautiful chassis. Yeah. And, uh, so that really started the aesthetic change that we've been incorporating the other components. Right. And uh, uh, hand welded chassis and uh, using all KT-150 tubes. So the entire system we're playing now is tubes. And, uh, and what is the uh, power output of this amplifier? 150 watts per Aside, yeah, that's what I figured yes. about that. Yeah, stereo. So and then these things... This is the Sonus Faber Il Cremonese, and this is their... Uh, their newest speaker in the homage series. And these are, uh, you have the Aida at the top, then you have the Lilium and the Il Cremonese are $45,000 a pair. 45000 Right. Wow. Yeah. And these are all handmade in Italy. My ears are ringing now, but who cares? <laughs> I don't care. This is the East Coast debut of the Il Cremonese. This is the East Coast debut of the speakers? Yes. Okay. 